lawyer to keep insurance companies honest. I'm Lowell the Hammer Stanley. Call me, 459-CASH! Investigating a $52,000 ride to the hospital. What the fuck? Jail, don't you want to... Honestly, how much time do you waste looking at your closet and... I don't know You've heard about meal prepping your food, but what about your wardrobe? All the lights could be off and you'll still find your Monday outfit at the day Ryan Serhan says a dash of preparation can make any home a million dollar listing. You need to depersonalize. See what I just did there? It's like magic. Plus, exercise is great, but his recipes will lose the weight. And run, run, run! To the table for this cheesy breakfast, lunch, or dinner meal. There you go, Jeff! before the show started today because our dear girlfriend Stacy London is back. Oh, thank you. Stacy London, of course, is a fabulous stylist and designer. She's just fabulous in every way. And today she's doing something that I'm kind of obsessed with. You know, when you learn to cook in a professional kitchen, the first thing you understand is the mise en place system. Everything in its place and prepping everything ahead. Yes. That's called meal prep, right? This idea is so brilliant. <laughs> Stacy is going to do meal prep with clothes. So she's going, to, she's going to teach us how to prepare our wardrobe as you would prepare to make your dinner. This yes. is so brilliant. Well, and it's also for your week, right? right? So the idea being, like, if you are meal prepping for your week so that you know what you're eating, you're trying to be healthy, this is the same exact thing. You're going to prep your outfits for a week so you have more time in the morning to be with your kids, go to the gym, right? whatever. How? You don't want to be worrying about this. Honestly, how much time do you waste looking in your closet and saying, I'm going to get it anywhere? Uh, in, in this room, actually, my husband's even worse than I am. <laughs> if I'm not home, Todd sends me pictures of his outfit. He's like, is this okay? You know what? Next time we're going to do John's closet, yeah, and I'm sure. going to figure it out for you guys. Okay, so here is prepping your wardrobe kind of 101, right? 101. Watch this. Ooh, I kind of love this color combo. Every time you pre-game your outfits, you're bound to wind up with more time in the morning. Step one, get your head in the game. Now, that means two things. One, you got to get ready to spend your Sunday afternoon in your closet trying to figure out what you're going to wear. But number two, this is a great opportunity to accept wherever you are. So, no stains, no rips, no missing buttons. Power move on a Monday. I know I've got a big my boss. Nice day. Do your research before you go into your closet, which means checking your schedule for the week and seeing not only what occasions you have, but also maybe check the weather. You're going to want to know how to be prepared best. We go into Tuesday cashmere tights instead of regular tights to keep me a little bit warmer. I also want you to think about those extras. Are you going to be able to go home before you have to go to your event after work, or do you need to go straight from work? Step three, now that you know your schedule, you're going to choose your clothes with conviction and direction. I always like to think of my weeks as a new way to find inspiration, and that means I'm either looking in magazines for photos or, or outfits that really inspire me. I look on Pinterest or Instagram for color palettes that I like. Look at that, that color palette I love. That may be something that I go and I use in my closet this week. Wednesday, I have a dinner party, and it's for work. Now, from week to week, if you continue to do this on Sundays, you may notice that there are certain things that never make it into circulation. Well, those are the things that after a while you should just take out, donate or sell. When you start building your outfit, you want to start with your basics, right? What is the one thing that everything else is going to surround? Whether it's a dress, a trouser, whatever it is that catches your eye that you want to start with, that's the main ingredient. Everything else is going to be seasoned. So, Thursday, after work, I got a date with Jim. If you understand what your week is looking like, and especially if you're expecting extreme weather, well, layer, 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 right? Ideally, that means that you can take pieces off if you get hot, and you'll have extra pieces in case you get cold. And remember, 
if you have an office that you go to every day, you can always keep supplies there. An extra cardigan, maybe a scarf, always an extra pair of shoes. Things like metallic scarves that you can keep in the office will definitely take any day outfit from day to evening. Fit and jewelry is a must. This stuff really creates a new mood for an outfit. Friday is my wild card. I don't know where I'm going to wind up after work. Once you've got your outfit together, including accessories, put them all together on one hanger. Do it day by day, Monday through Friday, and all the lights should be off and you'll still find your Monday outfit at 6 a.m. I believe in creating a go bag. This is something that I think you should make a portable one of to keep in your bag, a little bit smaller, and then one to keep in your office. Static guard. Wrinkle releaser. Lint brush. Fashion tape. Shoehorn. CBD cream when your feet hurt from high heels. Safety pins. And a mint. All of these items are going to keep your outfit looking its absolute best. Use this as my work bag. Things like baggy bags are great for taking clutches, extra shoes, and jewelry to the office that you can change into before you go to your event. And you can take that baggy bag and actually put it in your back pocket or actually fold it into your clutch. Where's the backpack go? So that's your wardrobe prep. I hope your meal prep went just as well and you didn't burn anything while you were making outfits. woman, this is just smart, and it's time-saving, especially if you're not necessarily a morning person. No, absolutely. I'm a nighttime person. Right. Morning. And I want you to play with this, right? I mean, it's Sunday afternoons, and frankly, look, it is going to take more than one Sunday if you do this to get the hang of okay, it, during but the it gets easier. Season, no. Okay. That's a Saturday. So, exactly. Saturday morning. Oh, Saturday maybe. morning, maybe. <laughs> whatever, whatever your favorite sport is. But the idea really is that this will get easier, because you're going to start to see what outfits you really love. You're going to start to see what you don't like. And and you're you're going to start to see what and you're going to start to see what you need. So you may realize, like, I keep missing a black turtle. Like, that's what I want with everything. You'll know you need to go and buy it. And the thing is, once you've got your meals, your outfit, then you can think about seasoning, right? You may change the seasoning on a salad every time you make a salad. Right. Same thing with an outfit. You can change the accessories. You can do a scarf. You can do big earrings. You might do yeah. Big once you learn the outfit, you can go up or down with the shoe or make yeah. it more casual. It makes life a whole lot easier. Luck favors the prepared, right? Correct. So my feeling is if you front load your time, you are going to have much more time on the back end to do the things that you want to do at 6 a.m. in the morning, which is I don't know what. <laughs> right. Well, I can think of a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that have nothing to do with clothes at all. Okay, now what are we going to do? What's, right. what's going on with this with this rack? I, I assume it has to do with packing. It does. It does have to do with packing. Packing, I think, is even harder for people than, you know, making wardrobe out choices in your closet. So the problem is, is that people tend to overpack or underpack, right? And I am still, right? I'm still a packer in training myself. Overpacker. Overpacker, I, I tend to be the overpacker. But I realize that that does not help me, especially when I'm doing things for other people and it's not my clothes that right. I need to be worrying about, but somebody else's clothes, right? So one thing that I think is really important, there, there are two ways. I've decided that I'm going to do a packing trip for five days with uh, to L.A. with an occasion in mind. I'm going to a wedding, and I only want to take a carry-on. That's it. So there are two things that you can do. I say. know, right? I know. Like, yeah. How am I going to pull that off? No. Well, these are really my clothes. closet. This is all mine. This is my suitcase. I'm, I mean, this is the real deal. So let me explain before you don't believe me. <laughs> I am going to a wedding. I'm going to a wedding in L.A. We okay. know that L.A., it, the temperature is extreme. So when you start to think about what you want to pack, there are a few things you need to think about. You need to think about where you're going, what you're going to do when you get there, what the weather may be like. And you want to figure all of this out ahead of time. Then I'm going to tell you, you need to start packing probably a week before you're actually going to pack your suitcase. Because what I do is I take everything out that could possibly be an option and I edit down from there. So by the time I get to actually packing, I will not only have chosen one thing for each occasion or event or whatever, but I also will have tried them on so I know what looks best on me. I do this too, but I add a bottle of wine. <laughs> friends come over and they write the stuff down that I like the best and then I go back and I put all the other stuff away and I do, I pack way, 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 okay. way. You just make an occasion out of it. It's like going to a I bar except it's, it's your closet. Right. Now, so, if you try on clothes when you have rosy cheeks and you're a little tipsy, you look great. You, you will be a lot Everything looks great. But, you know, my fear is that, like, you know, when you go to a wedding, a lot of people will 
say, I'll figure it out when I get there. They take six dresses they don't need. Maybe they wear one, or they wind up buying something when they're there. So this is really bare bones packing with a lot of forethought, right? right. So let's start. Okay. This is my dress. Don't say it's ratty. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. The bag is ratty. The dress, the dress, is, the dress is awesome. So after the dress is beautiful. There were six different dresses, right? This is the one I tried. I like the best. I think it's easy to pack. It doesn't wrinkle, and it's very, you know, it's lightweight. You so can dance. It's fun. Exactly. So that I know is my main outfit. There are two ways to do this. The the main outfit for the event, and you build your wardrobe around that or you're color coordinated and everything sort of goes together. I've kind of done a, a hybrid here. So I know that the rehearsal dinner is at this really cool speakeasy downtown. I don't need to wear a dress. I brought a velvet black jacket, a little silk blouse that has like a necktie, it's kind of French, and you will, re you will recognize me. These are the high-waisted faux leather leggings that literally I take everywhere. And especially, like, I've gained some weight. If I gain weight, I want something I can pull on that definitely fits. It's like elastic. It's one elastic. tiny piece of elastic. But it's so good. It's so good. So good. So, so, good. Good. so, so good. good. So good. So good. Now, while I'm there, a couple of things might happen, right? I'm going to L.A. L.A.'s like a, you know, film and TV town. Let's say I have a meeting. They've seen it on television. Yes. Right. Exactly. So I'm bringing this jumpsuit. It's a wide leg jumpsuit. It comes up to here. It's actually very cute. It doesn't look like a clown suit. But I might wear that to an interview or I might wear that to a meeting. It might be lunch. It might be something else. Whatever. But now I'm going to have to bring other things, right? So let's say I want to add a little bit of color. This is a great cotton pull-on pant that is so black. And I'm hey, we're still in one. But I've added... So, again, there's green, Super navy, cute. black, and pink in this, right? I have always bring a pair of jeans. I've brought, now this is my blue section, right? I've got an, a cardigan. I've got this that goes with it, long sleeve. I've got my jeans. Always take a pair of jeans, always. And then I have some extra, a t-shirt. I brought a black tank. Now, here is the interesting part. You buy yourself more room in your wardrobe if you're going to wear some of your wardrobe on the plane. I always pack a plane outfit. A plane outfit. Outfit. It hangs on a little hooky thing in my bedroom. Yes, and then that's what you put on that doesn't go in your suitcase. So, in my case, it is always this jumpsuit. This is Rachel Antonoff. It is velour. It is like wearing pajamas. Every time I wear it, I get a compliment on it. So, I could wind up wearing in L.A., but then I always bring this cotton coat. I know it looks heavy, but I bought it in L.A. It's perfect for L.A. nights. It's perfect for when I get back to New York because I can layer and I'm still warm, right? right. So this is something and that I And it will look right over your onesies. Exactly. <laughs> when it comes to the shoes, I don't believe that you should take more than three pairs of shoes if you're going away for five to seven days. You better Ladies. bring that to my husband because John brings nine pairs of shoes for seven days. Okay, that's insane. Now, normally everybody will tell you take the heaviest shoe that you have and wear it on the plane. Generally, it's the boot. But because my boot is collapsible, I'm actually not going to wear this on the plane. I'm going to wear my sneakers because they're more comfy. And at TSA, it's easier to get them on and off, or they don't beep you at all. They don't beep you at all. If you've got one of the, you know, the global entry or whatever car. Pre check, pre check. Exactly. You don't have to take your shoes off at all. And these, that's right. You know what else these do? These will take you to the gym. So you definitely want a sneaker. A lot of times we have our sneaker for working out and our like cool street sneaker. Look for hybrid kids because that will save you a lot of room, sure. right? And and then you can just wear it. Also get your butt to the dip. Right, and it'll get your butt to the dip. Okay, so I then right, they're they're waving 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 off. Off. Okay. okay, so again, I bring two scarves. One for warmth, but I could wear this with anything. The gold. How cute will that be at the wedding? So sweet, right? This Beautiful. is my wedding shoe, by the way. Now I always you want to bring something you can dance in. Don't bring shoes. Shoes, ladies, that are going to make this face after an hour, like, or make you walk like, <laughs> no, or just take them off, you know what I mean, enough wine, and you'll just take them off. Now, I always bring a clutch, obviously, for an evening event, um, but I'm also bringing a ton of accessories with me, because that's where I may need more stuff, right, so this is a portfolio, I can put this underneath my clothing, I can do anything I want these too, right, they're fantastic, headbands, whatever, if you're not bringing a lot of jewelry, put your jewelry in your in clutch, your clutch. Right. one of the most important things about this bag, not only that it's soft and that the wheels move in uh, 360 degrees, yeah. right, is that fabric bags, these bags, will literally, I can fold all of this stuff into this bag.
That's it. That's it. This goes on top of that and all of this room that I have. You can vacuum seal your bags, and honestly, I this... I have these in my kitchen, so it'd be real weird when my husband walks in and sees me vacuum packing our underwear. <laughs> what do you have in the hair? hair? What, 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 what do you have in it that's not underwear? I know, right? Yeah, yeah. So well, no, I use it to vacuum seal food. Oh, it lasts oh. a lot longer in your fridge. Well, yeah. see, food and clothes, there's so many parallels. So, look, and then you have these smaller bags, either for your, you know, pajamas, for your underwear. Your underwear, your underwear exactly. And you can even take them for a wet suit. So, ideally, this is everything you're going to need for five days with a specific event in mind. But, again, the more you do this, the more you plan ahead, the better you're going to be. Better from meal prepping your clothes to make ahead meals with an Instagram star. Our whole kitchen staff is obsessed with this guy. And I said, Guy, we're going to meet him in the kitchen right after this. Guy. Can you watch yourself and do you have favorites over here? I love watching myself. <laughs> Legendary. You dumb it up. You got the best food backstage. Isn't it? They get anything at all. They're gonna have to <laughs> That is painful, but mentally it feels so good. From ice water cells to sprouted superfoods, great new ways to feel better than flash. One pound of broccoli sprouts is the equivalent of 100 pounds of broccoli in terms of their anti-cancer potential. Wow. Plus, say I do to elegant event decor on the budget. Eager beaver, eager beaver. And get the scoop on this easy winter sip. Oh, come on! All that's to work. of pure fat and he took seven points off his visceral fat rating that dangerous unhealthy fat amazing results and you just show up and essentially you lay there you come <laughs> relax in a spa like atmosphere right. it's actually very relaxing we do the work the body loses inches from pure fat you don't want to lose muscle you don't want to lose water you want to lose fat so come see us we're located we have locations chesapeake hilltop Red Mill, a couple more locations to come. We'll talk about that another time. But 1 800 Fast Fit, guaranteed inch loss, 3 to 9 inches, 45 days. Oh, that's awesome. And you have a special offer too, don't you? We do. So you call right now, 1 800 Fast Fit. You mentioned Coast Live. You're going to get a free consultation and a free computerized body analysis. And the computerized body analysis is pretty cool. I've actually had that done. And you it did. tells you so much about your body that you never knew. The so. information is fantastic. Wow. Thank you so much for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. After the break, we will finish up on our masterpieces from Pino's palette in Norfolk. Plus, don't miss your chance to win a painting package for five when Coach Live continues. West Park Harper, so long. Now she's fighting in Wes's memory. To help other children battling cancer. I hope I'm kidding. Oh, she's turning her family's devastating loss into a legacy of home. Thursday at 6. Quiet, confidential, honest. Nathan's Lynn Haven Hall. The friendly owner since 1984.